Hello everybody, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about something which uh, you've probably already heard about, but I just wanted to put my two pennies worth into it so that, uh, well, so that I can give put my two pennies worth in a minute. Um, it's about Mark Gahey, who is uh, in all of the headlines at the moment. I wasn't sure if this was an April Fool's joke at first, but then I realised this was actually released a couple of days ago. Um, but it looks as though, or according to the Ivory Coast manager, uh, Patrice Bumeli, I hope that I haven't butchered that name, he um, he apparently has been trying to get hold of Mark Gahey for a couple of weeks because um, he wants to try and convince him to play for the Ivory Coast. Now, of course, because Mark Gahey has only played in friendly so far, he is technically still eligible to play for the Ivory Coast. So, apparently... This uh, Patrice Bumeli has been looking at trying to contact Mark Gahey with the uh, intention of luring him to the Ivory Coast. Now this is something that's in the uh, the Daily Mail. I'm just going to leave it there. But anyway, this is something that uh, they've mentioned and it looks they've said that, you know, although he's eligible, he was born in the Ivory Coast, um, but he came here as a baby and he worked his way up through the England ranks, you know, through the under-21s and things like that. So... I think I anyway, but I'm going to go over to um, another article which is in the Sun, which was released a little while ago, and uh, that said that um, according to their sources, and again this is the Sun, according to their sources, Mark Gay he has not been contacted by the Ivory Coast by anyone, uh, and uh, that he they believe that he's going to stay with England. They think that he you know because of his um, He's worked his way up through the, the ranks of England. He's been given the friendly opportunity by Gareth Southgate for the senior squad. I think personally, you know, this is just my opinion, I think he's going to get into the finals. I think he's going to go to the World Cup squad. Uh, he, you know, he played really well in the game that he did and I think that he will... I think that he will be included in the uh, in the World Cup squad. He might not necessarily get much time on the pitch, but I think he's going to go there. I really do. And I think Conor Gallagher will go there as well, which I think is another reason why he'll stay with England, because his best mate plays for England. And uh, and I think Conor Gallagher will go to the World Cup, as will he. I think they will, they will both be in it. So I don't think that this is anything in this story at all. I think that he's going to go and uh, stay with England. I don't think that uh, Patrice Bumele has uh, has really contacted him i think it's all a bit you know a bit uh, bit of show a bit of publicity to try and uh, try and maybe get him to come over to the ivory coast i know that uh, william, Z uh, william zaha why did i say william wilf zaha has uh, already played for the ivory coast i'm sure he's spoken to mark about it but i don't think that mark's going to change now i think he's spent so much time with the england squad for him to then suddenly switch to the ivory coast doesn't really sound right to me so I think that this is going to be a non-story. I don't think that he's going to stay with England. I think he'll be part of uh, England in the coming future. I think he's one of the rising stars. He was certainly, um, you know, one of the best defenders uh, in the game that he played. And I think that he, um, I think that he will become one of the regulars at the back. You know, with Harry Maguire having so much stick at the moment, who I don't think had a bad game in the in the games that he played, the two friendlies. But you know, they were fairly easy games. You know, they weren't overly taxing. I don't think. So uh, I think, you know, with the uncertainty around certain defenders, I think that he will eventually get a permanent place and I think he will keep it. He's a very, very good player indeed. But his value is going up. So that's another issue that we've got to look at about whether people come in for him during the summer. But in terms of his uh, England situation, I think he's going to stay with us. But let me know what you think. Do you feel that uh, he will change allegiance and go to the Ivory Coast? Or do you think that he's now one of England's players. I think he's one of England's players and I think that he will stay there for as, uh, for as I think he'll become one of the regulars. But let me know what you think in the comments or also if you uh, join me on Twitter on uh, Palace to the Core on there so you can comment on there as well. Please do if you're watching this as a video please do consider subscribing and liking the, um, the video as well because that does help me a great deal on YouTube get in front of more people and works for the algorithm and that kind of stuff. So thank you for joining me and I hope that you are having a good day. I hope you're playing in the snow if there is any and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.